Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced In Car Tech again. Um, been sent a few more cameras from Blackview directly because they want us to do some more of our reviews that have been so far going down a storm on YouTube. Uh, We've over nearly 50,000 views through across all of them, uh, which is awesome. So thank you very much for watching. They must be interesting because you're liking them, you're sharing them. Uh, so it's really great. So. Um, this is the latest offering from Blackview. Now, you may look at it and you think, hmm, I recognize this. It looks like a Blackview DR500. Well, you'd be right. It is a Blackview DR500. Um, they've done a few cosmetic changes. They've, they've put it in a new box. They've made, they've made the styling a little bit different. But more importantly, um, they've kind of made this as a, as a little brother to the, the main DR500 GW, which we did a review back almost a year ago now. Um, this one has still got the Wi-Fi, it's still 1080p, uh, it's got that 30 frames per second still uh, if you want it, um, and it's got a lens, of, it's got an angle of 156. Now, most people thought that the it was quite wide, um, but hopefully it's not it's not too bad. It's a it's it's the standard Blackview dash cam. They haven't put GPS on it um, to obviously try and bring down the cost to make dash cams a bit more affordable because Blackview by are not the cheapest brand out there by any far. So they're trying to do this in a way to bring out to bring down the, the, the cost. So hopefully that will do that. And also to try and bring down the heat issue. Um, I still think it's out there. People are still talking about it on the forums and that sort of thing. So it's something that we, we really need to keep an eye on and, and see what's going on from there. Right, so let's get it open and we can go over some more details. So nice sleeve, um, let's open it up. Apologies for the echoey. This new office that we've got is doesn't have very much stuff in it yet and so it is a bit echoey. Right, opened her up. So this is what we're presented with. Now, the DR500GW was a grey unit with silver everywhere and all that sort of stuff. Now, this camera is pretty stealthy. They've made it quite similar to the DR380. Uh, it's got a nice black holder there. The camera itself is a nice matte black. So when it's installed into your car, it's going to look quite nice. And also, if you've, if you've got a DR500GW or a DR550 and want a black mount, they're all the same, so you can buy this black one uh, and at least make that a little bit more stealthy. So there's the new mount, robust, solid, as per usual. So the camera, here we go. Um, let's take off all the plastic protection, if we can. I love putting this stuff on it. Right, let's rip it open, pull it around. Okay, so the camera is very, very sleek. It is a nice gloss black. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a nice matte black casing. It's obviously going to take a bit of heat in the, in the sun, which hopefully shouldn't be too big an issue. But I don't know if you can see it. The vent holes. There seems to be a few more, and they're a bit bigger, and they're on both top and bottom to try and uh, let the heat out. Now, you should hopefully be able to see my desk through the holes, which goes to show that there is quite a lot of space in the camera itself for the air to move. Um, so that should be cool. So, right, so we've got the, the Sony Exmor CMOS sensor lens here. Um, it's the quality of the, the 500 I've always been quite impressed with. Um, they have released online on some of the forums where you can uprate the bit rate so that you can get it from, I think Blackview now is the the sort of the standard height, well, the highest that you can go at the moment is the uh, 12 megabytes per second. But I know that with the 500, you can definitely upgrade the change the firmware so that it can go to up to anything up to like 18 or something like that. But obviously, that will invalidate your warranty, so you have to be really, really careful. Now, usual thing is powers power cable goes in here, the micro SD card goes behind it, and then you can turn the mic on and off. Oh, they've changed it, because it used to be over here, where it was the touch sensor and mic is now there. I'm not gonna bother powering it up or show you how to use it. I don't wanna teach you to suck eggs. If you've seen the 500, you know what it's like. It's an awesome camera. It does really, really well. I'm gonna grab some footage from it because I think it's important, but how it all works and how it's all used and stuff like that, I don't think it's really needed. We're just going over old ground. Now, the cameras are shipping with 16 card gigabyte cards. You can go for the 32 gig 
gigabyte version if you really want to. And if you're going to be recording on a full 16 gigabyte card at 1080 frames per uh, sorry at 1080 at 30 frames per second, you're going to be getting around four and a half hours recording time. If you jump to a 32 gig card, it's about nine hours ten minutes. Um, if you're going to go for 720p, which I still think is pretty reasonable, you don't really need to go more than 720 unless you're really, really anal about picture quality, then you're going to get 6 hours 50 minutes and on a 32 gig you're going to be getting 30 hours and 40 minutes. But personally what I do is on my DR500 that I've got in my car, I keep a 32 gigabyte card in there and if I need, I've got a spare Pitasoft one which is 16 gigabyte. I really do stress guys that you invest in a decent quality card I don't know the Pitasoft ones are amazing. Uh, I don't know who makes them. It's just that they've been rebranded, but a good SanDisk or a good Samsung is what you're gonna want to use. So now we've gone over the camera, let's just see what else we're gonna be getting in the box. So nice foam, they got rid of that terrible card insert um, that was just ripping every time you were taking things out. Uh, very Apple again, very Apple-esque. Um, the accessory pack, and we've got this in here. We've got uh, a nice DR500 manual, um, it's English all the way through I think, yep, uh, a big user guide this time, the last ones didn't really come with very much, it was a couple of pages, goes out how all the parking modes work, what all the different bits go over, so you've got your lock button, mounting bracket, security LED and all the different lights on the back, so you've got your recording there, microphone, and all that sort of stuff. Now, it's a really cool camera. Um, again, you can do all the sort of stuff that the DR500 did. It's not going to have the, the the ability to do the GPS. It's just a standalone camera. Um, just exactly how you want it. You don't if you if you're one of those people that doesn't want any fuss. Uh, or anything like that, then it's, it's the one for you. You can use it with your Windows, or you can use it with your Mac. There's an app for it. Um, it's all pretty cool stuff. And let's see what else we've gone up, we haven't gone over with it. Um, so this one, this this DR500 is, it doesn't have Wi-Fi either. Um, so for some people that might be a, a bit of a big deal, some it may not. If you just want a dash cam that's gonna record, then this is the one. It's 1080p, it does exactly what it says on the tin. You can take the SD card out um, here um, and plug it into your Android phone because that's Android phones, they only, it's like Samsung, uh, that sort of thing, they, they've got micro SD card readers on them. So that's really the only camera you're gonna be able to use it. Failing that, you're gonna to have to plug it into your PC or your Mac um, to get the footage off, which to me, it isn't a big deal. A Wi-Fi is a nice thing to have, but I think this is gonna be the DR380 replacement, if I'm honest. They've taken out the Wi-Fi, they've taken out the GPS, just purely to really cut back, keep, cost, the, keep the cost low, um, and give you a really nice looking camera. As I said, they've, they've really overhauled the, the plastics on it and I, I think it's, it looks quite nice and it's also gonna be quite stealthy. Um, so as before with the other cameras, you've got your usual normal event parking mode. I'm not gonna bore you. Uh, you've, you've probably seen our other reviews. If you haven't, I'll pop a link to the, the old 500 review, which we go into in so much more depth. Um, and if you need the extra, the extra information, then it's all there. Um, one new thing that they have started putting in is this ability when you have the micro SD card in here, there's this button. Um, so on here, it's for the mic on and off, but also if you hold it down, it's a good way of um, formatting the card and you need to push it down for about 10 seconds for it to do that. You can let it get on with it. It will then rewrite its firmware to the camera uh, SD card and you're all good to go. So, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll whip this in one of the cars, we'll get some footage, and we'll also, oh, we didn't go over these other bits. So you've got your usual bits in here, the reader, the stickers, the cable ties, and you've also got the normal power cable that you can power behind the scenes, or you can hardwire it, or just in your cigarette jack, whichever you want to do. 
So what we'll do is we'll get it in the car, we'll get some footage, and then we'll um, see what you think of that.